The Christ consciousness is that oneness perspective that knows itself to be an expression of the Creator. The Creator is the Creator, and it's everything, everywhere at once. And then it manifests itself as all the physical stuff in the universe, and all the physical stuff in the universe is a reflection or a manifestation of the unified field of stuff. The God force creating the unified field of stuff, expressing itself as the unified field of stuff, and that unified field that makes the stuff is the Christ consciousness. And so that is what is animating our bodies and giving rise to everything that we experience in our world. So you're uniting with that unified field when you're accepting Christ. In doing so, then you allow yourself to be a vessel for everything that Christ is. And Jesus Christ, the man, represented everything that Christ is. Christ is a consciousness. Christ is a label for a state of being. And that state of being, in one translation, it's the anointed one. So one who is illumined in their awareness or understands itself to be a divine expression of all that is. When you accept that as who you are and what you are, then you literally bring that Christ consciousness into your heart, and then you move and act in your life from that perspective. And so if you're going to be saved from anything, it's from the fear and doubt of living in separation and the anxiety that comes with having to defend yourself from potential threats out there in the world. You unite yourself with your Christ consciousness, your divine self, and then those things are no longer an issue because you are the divine stuff. And so there is no such thing as death because you are eternal life. Like your inherent nature is the force that animates life. Death just isn't a part of that experience. The main thing is just becoming aware that your consciousness is God's consciousness and then acting accordingly. And what does that mean for you? And the implications of that you can study for a lifetime and explore all the ways in which you can express that in your life. We can access that right now in this moment by choosing to put as much of our focus and attention on the divine stuff as we can. Because it's just as available as all the fear and separation stuff that's going on around us. We just are putting the magnifying glass on fear and separation most of the time. When the divine stuff is there, right next to it, waiting for the magnifying glass to be put on it, and waiting for the divine stuff to be what is called forth in our consciousness, and in our hearts, and in our thoughts, and in our feelings, and in our reactions to our world, and in our conversations, and in our belief systems, and just the way that we carry ourselves in our life. We're all invited to express that. And Jesus' message for humanity when he was walking the earth was, all of this that I do, so shall you, and so much more. So whatever you do, do as I do. Follow in my footsteps, and you can have all this God stuff too.